Today we have a really cool Jag, a 1963 Series 1 3.8 liter E-Type Coupe. It is a, a perfect car for vintage rallies. It's been restored by well-known Mark Specialists. It has been upgraded with a five-speed and a, a stainless steel sport exhaust. And um, I think a hell of a lot of bang for the buck in relation to a lot of other cars. And we're gonna take it for a ride. All right, so we've been uh, watching this car from the showroom window for most of the day. So it is a cold start. Choke as it needed because it was running earlier. As you can see, everything, all the temps are down. Oil pressure is great. Charging system. We're going to get on the road. I'll turn the lights on. It was uh, sprinkling a little earlier, which is German for, uh... oh yeah, this is English, sorry. Well, it was drizzling, but it drizzles in England. Well, I need my glasses. Where's the panel? Well, so far so good. She's made it a block. And um, again, we're gonna warm her up a little bit more and come back to you. All ready? All warmed up on our twisty road a little bit. Just cruising. I can say that the uh, five-speed gearbox conversion makes an E-Type a different car. Everything is working in this particular E-Type. It's exceptionally tight. Good gaps. Cruises exceptionally well, which it should. More space in a coupe than a convertible. You know, your typical great layout for an E-Type. Proper English dials that are illuminated to where after your 50 years of age you can barely see anything anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But um, that is in keeping with the period uh, originality. And now we're going to show you what it looks like from the outside. I hope you enjoyed the flybys. I'm going to put the window up. I'm also going to bring to your attention that not only do we have uh, Armon on board, well, we don't have him on board, on board, but on board with Autosport, but we have uh, Jason as well. And Jason, in one of the other videos that he had done uh, without my, my uh, help, had been driving around and noticed that the fall foliage is um, absolutely wonderful this time of year here in Long Island. And uh, personally, I never saw on his resume that he was an arborist, but you know, it is what it is. You know, everyone can branch out however they like. And um, I'm so happy that we could be together in this E-Type showing how it could be used as a wonderful, fun tour car with someone that maybe, just maybe, 
you can do a thousand miles with without killing. I hope YouTube will allow us to print that or post that, but it wasn't meant in a very derogatory way. It was just like, you know, you have to coexist for four days, a thousand miles, maybe a couple more. Not always easy without the right person. So we're going to take you right on to the farm road now and go through the gears, show you some power, and then bring it back, clean it off, and put it in the showroom. Okay? Peace and love. The obligatory farm road. Show you going through the gears first, second, third, fourth, fifth, which some people might call an overdrive, but actually once you're up to speed, fourth and fifth gear are actually really suitable to each other on the highway speeds and for quick downshifting, but it doesn't feel like it'll lug in fifth gear. And an E-type is an E-type, so let's get on a little bit. Here we go. So I can tell you that uh, this E-type is absolutely superb mechanically, and it drives with the best of them. And I'm fairly certain it will find a home sooner than later because they do not come to market like this often. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, Jason and I will have to say good night. <laughs>